we even in European history, we have something called the Dark Ages, a period within, between the collapse of the uh, Roman Empire and uh, the civilizations that emerged in Europe. Even the great Arab uh, civilizations are being pushed into the background. Where well, algebra? Uh, if you read the mat mathematical history, the Arabs were responsible for a lot of development of the number theory and, and algebra. Algebra comes from uh, uh, Arabic word algebra. They threw all these things to the winds and then pretend to be educated. Let us start something by ourselves. And I believe that with this money, we shall succeed. Let's come. To make sure that the truth comes out and society is conscientized. So in other words, a coward cannot be a journalist. Uh, at the end of the Second World War, a lot of German generals were hanged. They were hanged by the International uh, Tribunal. Why? Because you and their assertion, their excuse that we were only folding orders were not taken. That we are all born with something we call a conscience. That's Professor Katia, I have been with him. Professor Katia and I have not always seen eye to eye in the past. Yes, you must have the courage to stand your ground. Society will remember you not for where you stood, but what you stood on. Uh, Jimmy Cliff has a song, now and forever, once and for all, take your stand where you belong. Why did you go to journalism? Did you go to just chop on and listen to an editor? I mean, what is, your, what is your dream in life? Are you in life to make a statement or to make a living or to make money? Is that the only journalist uh, house over there? There are people who are brought in media houses. Look at Anas, look at all kinds of journalists who are being killed in Syria, Iraq, and all those They kill them, they torture them, and they still do their work beautifully. And thanks to them, people are afraid to touch them. Because as soon as you go there, you're dead. You will be, you will be exposed. So you are supposed to expose. It is, you are, it is an exposure, not just an exposition. So I beg you. Uh, I wish I were working in that place. Then we shall, we shall see, there is no what to be a journalist would be. Oh, yes. You should be prepared to go all the way. You need courage. This man needs a lot of courage. This man has a lot of courage. The things he has done, the things he has said. People are careful. People are, yeah. Mm -hmm. People are taking over school and said, this man goes there, he deals with them in a way. Go and see the number of chiefs who come to thank him. That is it. He takes up cases that other lawyers will not take up. To be a journalist, you must follow that example. You must be prepared to lay down your life. Yes. Otherwise, then you are not a journalist. Then you are just a reporter. Like you are saying, yeah, you just report the stories which anybody with a smartphone. But a journalist, you are highly trained, though. It is a craft. You are a practitioner. A journalist is a performance uh, 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 practice that you, 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 you are doing. It's a, a, a high performance practice. It is a practice. It's a profession. Like uh, you are like a lawyer, you are like a doctor, you are like a surveyor. In fact, it is, a, it is, it is something that nobody can just walk in with. So if I'm a journalist, and I belong to this media house, they are paying me. They are paying me for having me there, but they are not paying my con for my conscience. You should have some people who are conscience, and that should always come first. And that is how you come out and niche for yourself and make history. Other than that, then you are just a big coward. This is what I want to say. I absolutely concur. This time, talked about the world. But what we need to do is to change the world. And so, you see, distinguished scholars of Africa, we say facta non verba, which means actions, not words. <coughs> Anything else before we close? I have an observation. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, you ask a question as to uh, like how the thing will take off, uh, can take off with the modalities, and he was asking when. In fact, this man, before, if I, I don't easily comment somebody like this, <coughs> but me, I'm very blunt. Yes, I can tell you who you are and what I have here. And I believe that <laughs> this man sitting here, before he, 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 he brings forward something, the way he has thought about it, the the introduction, I mean, just an outline. <laughs> like the whole thing is ready. All, all he needs our input to shape it the way it should be. So whatever you, we are coming from, go home and think about how you can contribute to this idea. Because you are talking about technology. Uh, you see, the broadband service and all those, they are becoming cheaper. If you look, all the networks are competing and this will have benefit. Uh, so we try to get a, a smartphone or a small tablet. Uh -huh. And with a small tablet, with an internet connection, with a chip. I believe you can do one this. You can do one this. 
get a phone that you try to also equip yourself. All these things you can learn them yourself. You can go to YouTube and even teach yourself how to set up a phone for use or how to set up an internet connection. Get all this. <coughs> and like he's saying, some are in audio, some are in video. Even the video grab phone, we have very low video format, like a 144p, which you can set up and get it. The resolution may not be high, but the content is clear. So I beg you, this is a very serious thing. Don't let it be one of these ideas that we always discuss in this country, get up and go home and that's it. Let us make sure that this thing bears fruit. Because we are lucky to have this man in He's not using his education to cheat people in the rare race. The way many of his colleagues are doing, going to places, he sees somebody has not registered the land, he tells the other person, the person this man, you tell him, hey, go and register your land, go and do this. He lets you know your weakness and how to be strong. And he's ready for anybody who is like to this. I can assure you, you let somebody try, and you will see a very beautiful video. So I think that's my I'm sorry if I'm talking too much. I'm excited. Forgive me. Uh, my final comment. I also want to apologize for talking too much. <laughs> <laughs> yes. To side with the big bros comments. Every day, every now and then, on several WhatsApp platforms, uh, videos, audios are thrown out there. And if your setting is not done appropriately and you don't take care, your system might even be automatically downloading some of this. And that is your data going. Once we're able to download most of those videos, you can easily access this once it goes on. We can easily create, for a start, we can easily create a YouTube channel for it. And the YouTube, cha YouTube channel can be, uh, it will be accessible by anyone, anywhere, at very low cost. It doesn't, it wouldn't take much data, you know. Uh, as he said, often we go to YouTube and learn a lot of things. There are new knowledge that we acquire every day from the net if we are so much invested with it. So this is a possibility. In fact, inshallah, it can be done and can easily be done. There are a lot of scholars out there who want to share knowledge. There are a lot of people who know and want to share. They will need a platform to do that freely. So it is possible. It is possible. Let us give it the needed push. And as press men, if you throw it out there, it will send signals to those who are prepared and ready to pass knowledge, to, 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 to be part of it. In addition uh, to the accessibility issue, can you make it more basic without a smartphone? If um, a person subscribes to a course, the person should have um, a short code into a mobile network that they can access the podcast by just dialing the sh short code. Very good. See? That's, that's what you were saying. That's the problem we were saying. That we should all come together. With that's another idea. Yeah, yeah, you, you yeah, teach us that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. You we see? Mm -hmm. that's a, we should, is it very good? You know, the uh, telcos, we can approach them as they are CSR. They can craft or give us the short code. And it will be at almost no cost. Yes. To whoever wants to. Uh, access this. So it could be a way we, we can uh, bring pool uh, resources. In so with that short code, you don't necessarily need a smartphone. No, you don't yeah. need a smartphone. The YAM can easily, uh, USS, it is a USSD uh, yeah. system. So with the YAM, you just key in the short code. Mm -hmm. Play star 144. Hash and then you, 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 listen to it. you have all the options. So accounting lecture number does lecture date does you want you choose what you want to download and then you download it. You know, or you instantly play. <clears throat> and if you have no access to that, like I said we can do live radio. Mm -hmm. So knowing that you're a poor person, you don't have access, you just say, Hey, I have to listen to my radio program yeah. and that one is available anywhere. So that one live, you don't have to download anything. You see, let's make it easy for ourselves. And then the, the day we have a world in which knowledge is a human right, that will be the day of justice. Because without knowledge, it is not possible to be equal to anybody. Without knowledge, we are just like animals. 
It is knowledge that sets us apart from animals. Worse than animals. There we go. You see? So we need to make knowledge a human right. So I thank you very much. We thank the Almighty God for this excellent opportunity. And we thank Professor Jamra for coming with Professor Ketia. Ajemfra. Ajemfra. It's my chief sometimes. Ajemfra. Ajemfra. For coming with Professor Ketia. And his nurse. What's your name, sir? The nurse is Gideon. Gideon is out. He's out. Yes. For his support.